hope you're locked and loaded for another live transmission. It is the 21st day of July 2013. I am your host, Alex Jones, and we're going to be here for the next two hours. We have an individual who's always informative and thought-provoking, Pastor David Manning, will be joining us. Uh, coming up in the second hour, he's had quite a uh, bit to say about the whole Trayvon Martin situation. James David Manning uh, will be joining us in the second hour today, uh, uh, and I'll be focusing in on the whole situation with Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman in the context of how it's being used as social control. Because if I just covered it and debated it, that would kind of feed into the whole divide and conquer distraction that it is. But if we use it as a teaching tool while the public is captivated with the ongoing distraction, then it can be certainly enlightening, uh, a very enlightening on very uh, many different fronts. So that is coming up today here on this live worldwide broadcast. I want to thank uh, David Knight and the crew for doing a great job on Thursday and Friday when I took a few days off uh, with the family. I actually take off a record low amount of uh, vacation and I end up working always when I'm on the road. Some of those videos were just posted up on InfoWars.com uh, and I tend to not take long vacations. I tend to break them up into shorter little 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 snippets or they're working, working vacations like when I went to cover uh, Bilderberg a few months ago in England. Uh, but some of those videos from the vacation, the short little vacation down to the Texas coast, are up on Infowars.com. I visited Gonzales, the birthplace of Texas independence, uh, where they have big murals and flags saying, come and take it. Try to confiscate our firearms. You'll get a new 1776. And I also uh, have a satire group of videos up on Infowars.com that just got posted titled Obama creates giant rainbow after catching huge fish. And there's two videos I shot on the coast. One of uh, one of the smaller alligator gars it was only 60 pounds that we caught. We make the joke that Obama really caught it. And then also a rainbow that I shot some video of that we uh, point out that uh, Obama says that he made because uh, God uh, doesn't exist, and so the government must have made it. The state is God, uh, and uh, certainly he even shot the video of it. So President Obama was down there with me on the vacation uh, doing all the work. And uh, I just keep bringing back the whole you didn't build it thing because it illustrates the mindset of what this tyrant uh, has been pushing. Uh, now, all of that aside, I haven't even mentioned the big news that's coming up uh, after the break, uh, but also before I forget... Uh, it came out three days ago. We premiered it on InfoWars Nightly News, and it's got about 150,000 views. It needs to get about 5 million views uh, in the next week to really uh, have an effect, and that is the documentary that I'm in, uh, and there's a lot of other really interesting and uh, informative people in it. State of Mind, the Psychology of Control goes viral. The video in full, in HD, uh, that premiered on PrisonPlanet.tv is available to everybody right now at InfoWars.com and prisonplanet.com, please take that page and, and email it, Facebook it, tweet it out to everyone you know. And we can really use the power of the millions of listeners that this broadcast has uh, to launch this film and wake people up to the basics of how they're being manipulated with the history of mind control, the present and the future. Speaking of mind control, coming up. In the London Independent of all places, inside Google's HQ, their plan to put brain chips in you and your family. That is the plan. and It's really a globalist plan. I told you about it 15 years ago, but now here it is. Uh, we're also going to get into masses of doctors quitting over Obamacare uh, and how that dwarfs the NSA spying system and more. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 
37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. I want to thank you for joining us on this live Sunday transmission, the 21st day of July, 2013. Pastor James David Manning, who runs a big successful church uh, up in the New York area in Harlem, and who has one of the biggest private uh, programs feeding young, uh, mainly black people up there. Uh, and uh, he's going to be joining us. He has a lot to say about the whole Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman tragedy and the distraction. We're also going to play that clip uh, where Charles Barkley came out and basically said he agreed with the verdict. We've also seen Jimmy Carter come out and say the verdict was the right thing. I've had a lot of uh, liberal former prosecutors on uh, as well uh, who have agreed with the verdict because there was reasonable doubt. And I know we're eight days after the verdict. But there have been giant demonstrations all over the country, racial attacks uh, from Chicago to New York, from Miami to Los Angeles, just stacks of reports where whites are being beaten up and rolled. Uh, they're being robbed uh, because they're white and they deserve it. And that's like the old days, and it still goes on some, where gay people uh, would be robbed outside of their homes or their neighborhoods or the clubs they would frequent because, well, they're gay, so they deserve to be beaten up, according to the uh, people that would go and beat them up. Really, it was an excuse to rob them. And folks have pointed out whether you agree with that lifestyle or not, that is a wrong thing to do. Well, uh, now the media has, has sold, the establishment dinosaur media, the idea that... It is okay to beat up white people because, after all, they're racist and they deserve it. And this is what's been sold. And so we're going to be looking at the, no exaggeration, scores of reports every day confirmed racial attacks across this country uh, and how it has been sold as something that is a good idea. And on that front, here are some of the headlines. We'll cover in more detail next hour. L.A. joins nationwide protest against Zimmerman acquittal. I wish folks would protest uh, about the foreign banks draining us each and every week uh, of uh, tens of billions of dollars, $85 billion a month, given to foreign offshore banks. Uh, I certainly wish that people would be concerned about the loss of liberties for all Americans. But no, the media knows how to divide and conquer. Uh, also, we'll be getting into uh, this report that's up on Infowars.com. George Zimmerman and Barack Obama share the same disapproval uh, rating. Uh, that's just a classic. Also, Trayvon's parents are leading the Zimmerman uh, protest uh, all over the country, calling for the Justice Department to come in and persecute him more. But six dead, 17 wounded in shootings since Friday night in Chicago. The Chicago Sun-Times reports mainly black-on-black -black violence. Uh, there won't be any demonstrations over that, calling for the people of Chicago to be able to be armed to protect themselves from the criminals. Uh, but welcome to Chicago. Now give me that iPhone. Chicago Tribune uh, reports on groups of black Teens going around beating up people outside shopping malls, uh, even in areas not afflicted by the higher crime, uh, saying, uh, you white bleepers, leave us alone. And, and, then, and, and then you've got the white politically correct people saying, I don't think it was racial. I just think they targeted anyone whose phone they could get. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, just like uh, the riots in L.A., uh, they're, they're saying that's not related to the, uh, uh, to the Trayvon Martin George Zimmerman situation. Uh, so we're going to be going over all of that. And Obama comes out and acts like he's not trying to stir things up uh, and he wants us all to come together while having his surrogates on MSNBC, Media Matters, uh, his own press secretary, you name it, 
hyping things up, sending in the Justice Department on record, on record, to stir up demonstrations a year and a half ago, a year ago, and even two months ago. They've been caught covertly trying to get demonstrations going because Obama has got to deliver something to his constituents. And so he, 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 he's higher taxes and Obamacare on poor people, deindustrialization, shipping General Motors to China, your taxpayer money paid 20 plus billion to do that, shutting down power plants across America with federal regulations, on and on and on. So he, he needs to at least act like he's doing something. And so he wants to stir everyone up knowing that if they went for a murder conviction, they couldn't prove that Zimmerman was premeditatedly going out there to kill him. They knew they would get this verdict. They knew it. That's on record from the start. So they could then have the feds come in and persecute Zimmerman because Stalin said one man dying is a tragedy. 10,000 dying is a statistic. And so Obama can sit there with the globalists and the offshore banks that run the insurance companies and rake poor people over the coals with giant payroll tax increases for everybody under Obamacare, on and on and on with all the things they're doing to impoverish this country. But it doesn't matter. He can sit there and manipulate the Democratic judge and the Democratic uh, prosecutors on record, run the police chief out because he wouldn't be part of it, then make sure he gets charged with something that every lawyer across the board says, no way you can get a conviction for premeditated murder. Maybe manslaughter. Maybe you could then say, okay, we can get a conviction. No way you can do that, knowing they'd get that. Again, problem, reaction, solution. So we're going to be breaking all of that as well uh, down with Pastor James David Manning. If you haven't heard the pastor, he's very eloquent uh, and also could speak from a black perspective. Uh, somebody who even grew up in the South, so we're going to get his take on all of this in the second hour today. And we'll also uh, play some clips with Charles Barkley basically agreeing with what he said and what Jimmy Carter said. And again, Jimmy Carter said, "There's he, goes, he said, I follow the trial. You can pull up the video. He talked to the uh, Atlanta TV station, Atlanta, Georgia. We, we played the clip on last Thursday. Um, but he said, look, you might have been able to get manslaughter. No way you can get premeditated murder. No way you can get that. So he had to be acquitted. And again, the prosecutors all knew that. There's now a lawsuit with the head IT person from the, uh, that prosecutor's office in Florida when he went and downloaded off Trayvon's phone, loot, uh, telephone, uh, things like that, and uh, the uh, firearm. And he said, this has to be given to the defense. And they said, no, that's not going to be given to the defense. And he said, well, that's a felony, so I'm going to leak it. So they fired him when he gave it to the defense attorney. So there's another issue here. I think that O.J. Simpson was guilty, and the civil trial found him guilty. But back when that happened, I, I, I actually followed that soap opera, as I know many of you did. And... In the final equation, even though he probably did it, he had to go free because there was evidence the police tried to frame O.J. Simpson. Undoubtedly, the blood had the blood additive. It was clearly from the ampule they took from O.J. Simpson. Uh, there was a lot of other evidence going on. So even if you think somebody's guilty, but he's been framed, a lot of times they try to frame somebody they think's guilty. They don't just frame innocent people. They also... In, in history tend to frame people they think are guilty, but then that leads to framing innocent people as well. That's why it's so immoral. It's like torture. Yeah, you might be torturing somebody who's really guilty, but then it's going to be used down the road to get fake confessions and turns into its own greater evil. That's why you have to be against torture. That's why we have these checks and balances. So OJ had to go free, and he ended up getting back into trouble. He's in jail right now, OJ Simpson. So it's the same thing here. Now, I'm done talking about that till the next hour, and we'll get into that with Pastor Manning. Coming up, ladies and gentlemen, London Independent. Inside Google's HQ, their plan to put brain chips in all of us. That's not actually their plan. That's the globalist plan. And I put that in my 2002 film, Descent into Tyranny, my book, but also the book, Road to Tyranny. We're going to come back, though, and get into the latest on the NSA and a lot more straight ahead. Stay with us. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that
The material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. Monday through Friday, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm here live. Then we come back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. with the abbreviated two-hour transmission Central Time as well. And don't forget InfoWars Nightly News, hosted and anchored by myself and my great crew of intrepid reporters and researchers, coming to you live from deep in the heart of Texas, Austin. Okay, uh... Let me mention what's coming up here. I want to get into the rise of the warrior cop. Is it time to reconsider the militarization of American policing? No, that's not from Infowars.com. That's from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, here is another uh, report that we're gonna be getting into along those very same lines. U.S. military drone surveillance is expanding to hotspots beyond declared combat zones. This is out of the Washington Post, including America. That's been going on a long time, and now they're just now admitting it. Uh, this is the nature of tyranny, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're also going to get into high-end stores use facial recognition tools to spot VIPs. Again, I told you about this 15 years ago. We're going to be getting into it. That's from NPR today. That aired today. We have their text report. Uh, we're also going to get into the NSA. Mood shifting. Congress may move to limit NSA spying. I'll give you the news behind the news, the story behind the story, the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey would say. Uh, NSA phone snooping cannot be challenged in court, feds say. It's not illegal when the president does it. It's not illegal when the bureaucrats do it. Yeah, it didn't work for Nixon or Hitler or Julius Caesar. It ain't going to work for you either. And we're going to get into move over NSA. Here comes the Obamacare Big Brother database from a great new site put together by some reporters at the Washington Times. Uh, it's the top story on DrudgeReport.com. You want to find this great article. We've already written articles about this the last month, pointing this out in Obamacare, the way it's being implemented. But this story really breaks it down up at DrudgeReport.com. We also have it linked at InfoWars.com, but we just have the blurb up there. Drudge is linked to the entire story. Move over NSA. Here comes the Obamacare Big Brother database, and it shares it with... Everybody, see, it's the enabler in law to share it with everybody. Every federal agency, every bureaucratic group, every private corporate group that the government contracts with, your entire health history and everything else. We're going to be getting to that. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.